Oh yes, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. Man, you were worried about me, weren't you? You were thinking, man, did this guy finally give up is, being the internet receding hairline? Is he is he tired of that title? Is this all done now? The answer is no. I was on vacation with my family in San Diego, and uh, I shot you know a couple. I shot that one hair video while I was at the airport, but I wanted to just truly take off a week. Um, but while I was on the plane, I uh, I had to. I brought this with me from Southwest. This is the uh, September 16 uh, issue of Southwest the magazine featuring fellow vegan Carrie Underwood on there. So I turned to page 84 and 85. We've got a two-page ad here. Take a look at that real quick. And this is called Capolis. Literally, Capolis. You wear a hat, and it's supposed to help you grow your hair back better. Now, you know me, or you know my, uh, my journey here in my hair loss videos. You know where I stand. You know that personally I'm choosing to allow myself to go bald. I'll shave my head at the point I lose too much hair and I'll be just as confident that way as I am today. That's how I'm wired. And I understand that's not normal and I understand that's a shock for cer certain people to hear that. At the same time, if you choose you want to do something to save your hair or retain your hair, do it if it makes you happy. I don't care what you do. I could care less what you do about your hair, okay? All I could try to do is try to uh, t uh, teach you to be confident enough in yourself that even without hair, you you're still the same guy. I realize a lot of people don't buy into that. Even though I do, that's fine. So with that being said, if you do want to find some way to save your hair, if that's what you need to do, then I'm not even saying do it. Don't do it, do it, I don't care. But what I think is interesting to do is just talk about capitalists real quick. Because uh, this is just, if nothing else, this is interesting. Here we go. So the, here's I'm reading from, again, page 84 of uh, the September 16, 2016 issue of Southwest the Magazine. It says, quote, battery operated and portable capless hats let you treat your hair loss while maintaining your normal on the go lifestyle. Again, literally, it's a hat. You wear this cap and it even says the brand name on it. There's those things that are supposed to help out here. So uh, I do appreciate this and I think we can all you know, appreciate what it says. It says, grow a fuller, thicker head of hair. If the thought of losing your hair makes you want to lose your mind, you're not alone. The American Hair Loss Association has found that two thirds of American men experience hair loss by age 35, which I'm 35 and I have experienced some hair loss. All right, uh, going back to the, here, it says, but before you resign yourself to hiding under a ball cap for the rest of your life, consider this. What if instead of covering your, uh, what is it? instead of covering your thinning hair, what if there was a hat that could actually regrow it? Capless laser therapy caps do exactly that. The FDA cleared hats are lined with low level lasers that increase blood flow to the scalp, strengthen pre existing hair, and stimulate hair follicle regrowth. Simply wearing the battery powered cap for 30 minutes every other day helps to slow, stop, and potentially reversed hair loss. It goes on, and uh, but I mean, I think that I think that's overall what's going on here. Now, of course, you got to go ahead and put this in your budget. So it's 800 bucks. Am I looking? Yeah, 800 bucks right there. So, is that something you're interested in doing? I'm just asking you. It's up to you. But uh, that is an option. That is one of the options you could do. You could pay 800 dollars, invest in calculus and uh, wear this hat every other day, and uh, hopefully you can uh, you can grow your hair back. You can, I mean, you can even be in a convertible while wearing the cap. I wonder, what, and then if someone says, hey, what's capitalist, what does that mean? So you uh, from one man to another, I'm gonna tell you all about it. My hair's growing back because I have capitalist. So, I just think that's interesting and fascinating. Hopefully, I'm not endorsing it nor putting it down. I'm just simply reading from a magazine, page 84 of Southwest the magazine. I'm gonna let you formulate your own thoughts on capitalists, because again, I'm just gonna go bald and shave my head. But not everybody is okay with going bald and thinking that they can be just as confident. And I have to accept that, that I'm not normal. So I'm trying to uh, be more of a team player here and uh, make this video to 
for those of you who who don't think the same way as me, I'm trying to be mindful of that and giving you some more options as you try to figure out what you want to do about your hair loss. As for me, I'm losing my hair. I'm 35, and I, I think actually I, I think I look pretty good. I mean, I don't mean that in a vain way. I just I'm just I'm not freaking out about my hair loss. I'm just accepting it and rolling with it. But maybe you're not in the same situation as me. Maybe you're 20 and, and really you know, severely losing your hair. Maybe you should get capitalist. I don't know. I don't know what you should do. But I'm just showing you the options. Options. So, I'm Nick Shell. I am the internet receding hairline guy. And uh, now you know a little bit more about capitalist. Look it up yourself if you want to learn more about, about that. You heard it first from me. Unless you've recently flown on Southwest. Then you've read it in the, mat, in the ad. Nick Shell, internet receding hairline guy. I'm out of here.